This sample collection kit has all the essential items needed for successful collection of your dried blood spot samples from the comfort of your home. This video will demonstrate how to use the kit to collect and return your dried blood spot samples. Please watch the complete video before beginning to collect your samples. It is important to be well hydrated on the day you collect your samples, so please drink plenty of water. Your sample should be collected between 8 a.m. and noon. If you are sick, wait until you have been healthy for 14 days to collect your sample. If you have recently received a vaccine, wait for 14 days to collect your sample. Each collection kit contains the following items, a collection card, plastic biohazard bag, a silica gel pack to absorb moisture, two lancets, two alcohol wipes, two bandages, gauze, and a business reply envelope. Open your kit and lay everything out on a flat surface. Leave the bag of silica gel, which absorbs moisture, in the biohazard bag. Write the date and time on the front of the collection card. Do not write your name here. There is a unique code on the card used in place of your name. Open the gauze, one bandage, one alcohol wipe, and twist the cap off of one lancet. Wash your hands with warm, soapy water and dry with a clean towel. If you have cold hands, you may find it helpful to rub your hands together rapidly, use a heating pad, or sit on your hands for a few moments prior to washing to help warm up your hands and increase blood flow. Using the alcohol wipe, gently clean the tip of the finger that you intend to stick. Let the alcohol dry for 10 to 15 seconds. It is best to use a middle or ring finger that does not have any rings on it to collect the blood spots. Lay your hand on a table, palm facing up. Position the lancet so that it rests on the side of a clean finger. Never use the tip or center of the finger. With firm pressure on the finger, activate the lancet by clicking the button on the side. You will feel a prick when the lancet has been activated. Wipe the first drop of blood with the gauze. Gently massage the finger, moving towards the tip to encourage blood flow. Be sure to avoid excessive squeezing or milking of the finger, as this will dilute the sample. If blood flow is still not sufficient, the finger stick may be repeated on a different location. One at a time, place one drop of blood in each of the five circles, being careful not to touch the card with your finger. You can gently touch the card to the blood, allowing it to absorb the blood away from the finger, but do not touch the card with your finger. Try to ensure that blood only lands within the circles. Frequently wipe away blood from the puncture site. If blood is allowed to stay at the puncture site, it will begin to clot and blood flow will stop. Do not put more than one drop of blood in each circle, even if your drop does not completely fill the circle. After you have filled all five circles, apply gentle pressure with the gauze for a few moments or until bleeding subsides. Place a bandage over the finger stick site. Let the collection card sit for at least four hours or up to overnight to dry before sealing the card up. After the blood spots have dried completely, fold the card so that the blood spots are covered and place the collection card into the plastic biohazard bag with the silica gel pack. Seal the plastic bag, being sure to remove any excess air. Place the plastic bag into the postage paid business return envelope. Seal the envelope and place it into the mail. Discard remaining supplies in the trash. You've now completed your participation. Thank you for participating. If you have any questions about how to collect the samples, please reach out to The Ohio State University. If you have issues with the collection of your samples and need a new kit, please reach out to Gallup Panel Support.